All right, let's get this started. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sebastian Mugazambi. I go by Saba, and I'm a senior, uh, senior product manager in the cloud AI infrastructure uh, team over at Google Cloud. And I specialize mostly in new product introduction, so the next generation of AI infrastructure, specifically cloud TPUs. And today I'm joined by Dorak uh, from, uh, from Cohere, one of our biggest uh, and major customers on the cloud TPU side. And today we're going to be talking about how cloud TPUs contribute towards the uh, generative AI innovation that Cohere is doing. All right? Thank you so much, Saba. All right, thanks, Dorak. Uh, it's a pleasure yeah. to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, awesome. Always a pleasure to see you every time. Thank you. Yeah, now, be before we get started, I really wanted to start with uh, just explaining what cloud TPUs are uh, for, you know, uh, you know, for people in the audience. So cloud TPUs are tensor processing units that are designed and developed by Google uh, internally. And these are application-specific integrated circuits that we use to accelerate MLAI workloads. And a lot of the uh, major models that you have seen, you know, probably heard about today, Gemini, were trained on, on cloud TPUs. Now, we offer these cloud TPUs with multiple consumption models on, uh, on GCP. And today, I'm super excited uh, that Durak is here from Cohere. And they've been a major customer for cloud TPUs uh, for quite a while. And super excited to hear the story of how they're using cloud TPUs to drive innovation in the generative AI space. Now, uh, Durag, maybe you can uh, get us started uh, in talking about you know, what Cohere does and uh, you know, what you do with the team and, and how you're driving this innovation. Yep. Uh, thank you so much for introducing me. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Dwarak. I'm a member of technical staff at Cohere. Um, I work on pre-training of base models, uh, and uh, also I work on uh, infrastructure to train these models. So I work closely with the TPUs uh, in my in my day-to-day -day work. Um, so Cohere is uh, one of the world's leading uh, AI uh, platform for enterprises. So our suite of models are specifically designed and specifically optimized for enterprise use cases. So um, like we recently, for example, we recently launched our uh, 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 command R and R plus family of large language models. So uh, these language models are specifically optimized for enterprise use cases, such as retrieval augmented generation. And um, retrieval augmented generation is super important for uh, enterprises because uh, we want the uh, information that is being generated by these models to be uh, up to date and uh, to have citations. Uh, for verifiable sources, right? So uh, that is something that we deeply focus on as, as a company. Uh, we want to empower our enterprises, enterprise customers to um, uh, use these models in, in the best way possible. Uh, our models are also multilingual, so uh, we operate on the 10 key business languages, uh, you know, and um, uh, to empower like all, all our customers around the world and uh, we also focus on tool use, all the brilliant things that were talked about agents uh, earlier in, in, the, in the keynote. So uh, having very good tool use performance is uh, foundational for uh, having very good agents. And uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's awesome. That's a wide range of sort of innovation and areas that you are really leading the space. You know, I, I want to talk a little bit more about, you know, um, specifically how you're using the cloud TPUs within all of these launches and all of these areas. Maybe you can go into a little bit more detail on, on, on that. Yep, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great uh, question. So training these large language models, uh, as you know, is extremely computationally intensive. Like the computational demand to train a model is uh, roughly proportional to the model size. So as you grow your model size, you would need more and more hardware accelerators to uh, get the training done in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. And um, Cohere's training fleet has uh, TPU v4 and TPU v5 e chips. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as you know, Cohere has been one of the world's uh, uh, earliest adopters of the TPU v4 platform as well. So the TPU v4 uh, platform, with its incredible compute intensity and uh, very good uh, scalable uh, optical interconnect between the chips, uh, really allows us to run uh, long training jobs on huge amounts of data for our models. The TPU V5e, on the other hand, uh, gives us the other side of the coin with its uh, excellent performance to cost ratio and also its uh, very good scalability. 
it uh, helps us drive down the cost of training these models so we can democratize them for more of our customers as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, you know, I'm sure every customer is thinking about being cost efficient when it comes to training their models, and especially when models are as large as some of the foundational models that you're building over at Cohere. You know, I do notice that you know there is a mention of JAX over here as well, and and for those who don't know, JAX is a uh, machine learning framework that was developed by Google Research, and you know, and we have our external customers as well using this JAX framework. So I think it really goes to show that you know customers like Cohere. They're not only looking at the hardware itself, the chip, the AI accelerator, but they're also looking at like the open source software layer and seeing what they can use within our AI hypercomputer um, uh, architecture. So you mentioned about the JAX. We do also support TensorFlow and PyTorch as well, and all foundational to you know some of the uh, uh, vari uh, variant of, um, variation of models that we see our customers run on cloud TPU. So super excited that you know uh, you have mention of JAX there and 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 how you use that framework along with all the uh, you know the workloads you have. Now, I'm sure you have mentioned all the critical things that you think about when picking a you know a, a, an AI accelerator, especially around performance. You talked about scaling. Uh, can you? Can you give a little bit more details as to why you chose cloud TPU specifically? You've spoken about your use case, but it'd be great to speak about why you specifically chose cloud TPUs. Yep. Uh, so as you mentioned, uh, JAX uh, and how it ties into the entire ecosystem of training large language models is uh, one big reason. So uh, as I mentioned, the training cost of these models is incredibly high as your model grows, right? Now, uh, when your model becomes big enough, we won't be able to train it on a single chip. So what we do is we take this big model, we chop it into small pieces, and we give the pieces to uh, multiple TPU uh, chips. Right. So now, when you're training a model, all these chips have to communicate with every other chip uh, to finish one single uh, step, what we call a training step. Now, you have to do this over and over again until your model uh, reaches satisfiable, you know, satisfactory performance levels. So uh, one of the reasons why we like TPUs is that uh, the optical interconnect, uh, again, uh, in the TPU v4, gives us the flexibility to arrange the hardware in uh, however many topologies that we would like. Uh, it is also stable, and the super fast interconnect uh, really like brings down the time to communicate these information between the TPU chips that I mentioned. So this is one big reason uh, that um, uh, uh, the TPU hardware has been very useful for us as well. And also talking about JAX, um, the JAX framework and the XLA compiler is what we use uh, to train uh, our models. Like our distributed training framework is built on JAX. And uh, the clean APIs that JAX provides to uh, train models in a distributed fashion has really helped us maintain code in a clean fashion, but also uh, give our researchers like time to focus on features for the model and leave the optimization to the compiler. And uh, these features can be seen in our command R and R plus models, uh, which I'll talk about like uh, in a bit. But all these features like sort of help us drive uh, innovation and drive uh, uh, to generate value for our enterprise customers. Yeah, no, this is this is very exciting to hear that you know we're able to offer a platform that you know you can confidently focus on what your engineers do best, which is build this amazing foundational models and they let the accelerator do what it does best, right? And leave all the you know optimization in the XLA compiler, which is something that you know uh, Google has shown leadership in. No, you talked about enterprise customers. I know Cohere is a very you know enterprise customer focus. Can you speak a little bit more about how, you know, from using cloud TPUs, you derive value for your enterprise uh, end users and, and, and customers? Yeah. So uh, uh, I will try to answer the question using uh, our latest release models R and R plus as an example. So uh, Cohere uh, really works with some of the most complex businesses in the world to make sure that pro our product offering is actually enterprise grade. like. Uh, for example, some of our uh, customers are uh, Oracle, Accenture, and um, uh, Salesforce, just to name a few. And these are uh, huge enterprises with uh, thousands of uh, downstream users. So uh, for example, uh, Oracle is uh, using Cohere command models in uh, NetSuite and Fusion products. 
right? And our models were able to increase uh, accuracy and performance uh, in over a dozen of their enterprise products. All these uh, LLM-powered uh, products increase employee productivity in use cases such as uh, HR, finance, and uh, uh, customer service, et cetera. Uh, just to give you one more example, Accenture has been using uh, Cohere models in, the, in their finance team for uh, discovering irregularities for a while now, right? So these models uh, are able to process such huge amounts of data in a single go that doing so using humans or even less sophisticated software is very difficult. For example, uh, Command R and R plus models are trained and optimized to use a context length of uh, 128,000 tokens. So if you use all the context length and dump a huge amount of information for the model to reason about, you'll get to your uh, desirable outcome much faster than using a shorter context length model. So these are some of the features that we've enabled for our enterprise customers, and that's how we generate value. No, that's, uh, you know, that's very exciting to see that not only are Cloud TPUs generating value for Cohere, who is a, a big user, but they go on to pass that value to their enterprise customers. And I think you already mentioned more than two or three customers already um, that you know, benefit from, uh, from, from, from this innovation that uh, Cloud TPUs also bring uh, when it comes to AI acceleration. Um, you know, before we get to whatever is behind this curtain, um, could you, you know, talk a little bit more about some of the things you're looking forward to with this partnership between Cloud TPUs and, and Cohere? Uh, I think uh, I, I come from the engineering team of Cohere, and any LLM engineer will tell you that the only thing that we dream of every second is more compute, more memory, and bigger computers. So uh, I'm, I'm super excited to see all the innovation that's happening in the compute space, uh, especially in the TPU v5 and all the announcements that were made today. So these are things that we are really looking forward to. And uh, uh, these advancements in compute and storage and cloud technologies can really help us push our models, deliver, uh, just train better models, deliver more value to our customers. That is awesome. Yeah. Now, uh, without any further ado, you, you, know, you heard uh, Daruk talk about what they care about is more power, uh, more memory, and all of these sort of specs that he mentioned. So today I'm super excited to share with you the next, you know, our latest and greatest uh, uh, new generation of cloud TPU, TPU V5P. So TPU V5P is our most powerful TPU to date. It is the most scalable TPU to date, and it is now generally available. Now with TPU V5P, it is 2x the amount of chips in the same ICI domain or a TPU port with 8,960 chips. You see the single chips, 8,960 of them, all interconnected by our ICI technology um, to, to be able to service uh, a single workload in a single slice. Now you can orchestrate you know, these large workloads through GKE as well as of today. You can also multi-slice or combine multiple slices of these 8,960 chips into even tens of, thou uh, tens of thousands of uh, TPU V5P chips to deliver the most powerful compute cluster to accelerate your AI workload. Just to give you uh, context, training on TPU V5P for LLMs, you can expect to see almost 3x training speed in comparison to our previous generation TPU v4. So super excited to be bringing some of these newer generation products so that Cohere can continue and Cohere and other customers, you can continue to see more power, mem more memory. We have tripled the amount of uh, HBM on a single chip uh, from uh, TPU v4. So super excited for you know, Cohere and other customers to get their hands on Cloud TPU v5P. All right, now I really want to thank uh, you know, Dirk for joining us today on stage and talking about their journey with Cloud TPUs. They're one of our first uh, Cloud TPU customers and they've been a long-standing customer with us. So super excited to see how this partnership grows as we continue to ideate and build more uh, powerful uh, TPUs with more memory um, and more bandwidth for your workloads. Yeah, uh, just to add to that, thank you so much for having me. This has been a pleasure and uh, very excited for what the future holds as well. Uh, I just want to uh, take a moment to also uh, mention that 
the models that we recently released, Command R and R plus. Uh, the weights are available for download today. You can go to Hacking Face and download the models and play with them. Or you can also play with them on uh, Cohere's Playground. So please do give them a try and uh, let us know. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.